Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's me again, the Millennial Broker, Janine Nieto. And we are on our part two of our travel feature. So as promised guys, pupuntahan naman natin or papasukin natin yung bahay, no? yung model units. For our last video, pinakita namin sa inyo yung sample lots na pwede nyong i-avail dito sa Trava. And this time around, ang ipapakita naman natin, ang isa-showcase namin sa inyo, is yung house na potentially pwede nyong i-build dun sa inyong mga residential lots. Alright? So, halika na without further ado, pasok na tayo. you guys no as you can see sa likod ko no we feature or we require the residents of Trava to design their houses following modern tropical architecture so nakikita niyo naman no very neutral yung mga colors brown black cream yan yan yung mga kulay na ifa-follow natin dito so this sample house sits on 603 square meter corner lot. No? So, don't worry. Meron pa tayong mga available na corner lots dito, guys. Meron pa rin mga inner lot. So, this first model is Luxin 1, which has a total floor area of 433 square meters. Okay? So, don't be too attached kung ano man yung maging itsura nito, no? Kasi pwede nyo namang itweak or you can have your own design, no? So, itong model house, pwede din naman na bumili kayo kay Greenfield ng blueprint kung ayaw nyo nang mag-isip ng design, no? You want na, eto, nakita ko na sa video, gusto ko ganito rin yung itsura ng bahay ko. So, that's possible as well. Okay? So, pwede tayong mag- fence on the left side and on the right side. No, both sides of the house pwede tayo mag-fence including sa rear. But as you notice dito sa unahan, no? So, open frontage, no? Parang American style yung houses. Okay? So, tara. This model kasang kasha ang apat na carport. Carport or car park, no? So, dalawa dito and then dalawa doon. Again, you can have your own design, no? So, kung gusto nyo talaga, two car parks lang, that's totally fine. Okay? So, pasok tayo. Wow! dito no na who could personally see uh, I'm excited to join you guys no na puntahan ito in actual no cause I'm truly amazed sa kung ano yung nangyari or what was the design of this house all about no so uh, open layout ang laki nung kanya naging sala ako personally no uh, I'm done designing our first hopefully build and sell no and ganito rin yung design na in endeavor namin or we tried to achieve no open layout kasi ang maganda sa kanya yung flow ng floor plan dire-diretso no so andito ang sala andito ang dining and then meron ka pang open kitchen dito so just like me no kung pareho kayo who wants to alam mo yun, accommodate guests no who loves to host yan mga gatherings parties no with families and friends ganitong layout yung alam mo yon merong inclusivity hindi nararamdaman ng taong nasa kitchen habang ginagawa yung food or nagpre-prepare kayo dito you can do the chica around no mag wine and all while a certain group no or a different people could enjoy also this space and of course the living area okay so labas tayo dito naman sa may sa, sa may garden Whoopsie. Yan. Wow. So guys, dito sa Trava, no? I hope you get to imagine on a 603 square meter lot. Ganito kalaki yun, no? Ganito yung potentially laki ng garden na pwede nyong ilagay. This, for this model, uh, specifically, sa likod niya nilagay, no? But don't worry, you could also opt na maglagay ng swimming pool. Kung hindi naman kayo plantita no kung hindi naman kayo mahilig sa mga halaman but you enjoy mas uh, water activities or you have kids no 
who wants to, yun nga, enjoy a pool rather than a garden. So, that's totally allowed. Pwede din. Okay? So, before pa tayo umakyat, no? Another thing that I want to mention is, uh, kung naiisipan nyo naman mag-basement, no? So, Miss Janine, uh, pwede ba ang basement dyan? So, pwedeng pwede. Okay? Pwede tayo mag-build ng own swimming pool. Pwede rin tayo mag-basement. Maybe for our parking. Baka ayaw nyo dun siya nakalagay sa, una na, no, sa unahan ng house nyo. Or maybe you want to accommodate or you have more cars than four. No? So, pagka ganun, mas ideal talaga na i-basement siya. Then, dun mo na lang ilagay yung mga service area no? for your staff also. Yan, for your own driver. Okay? So, balik tayo dito. Yan. While this is the open kitchen, meron pa rin tayo ditong auxiliary kitchen, no? Kung saan talaga yung maybe pagluluto ng isda, no? That you don't want that the entire house naman smells fishy. So, sa laki ng lot mo, kaya mong mag-accommodate or maglagay ng ganitong area. No? Again, don't be too attached. Dito sa atin sinishare, no? Na layout ng house. Because this is just a model house. You can always tweak and design for your own use, no? For your, kumaga, according to your preference. Okay? So, dito. Ayan. So, ang ginawa nila. Wala pala. Alright. So, connected to the auxiliary kitchen, yan. Nandito naman yung laundry area. Ito naman yung sinasabi ko sa inyo na if you have basement, no? So, ito yung backstage. <laughs> yung technically yung backstage natin sa house, no? The sampai, the laundry, no? The maybe tools for cars or other... Baka kayo ay mahilig sa mga woodworks or alam mo yun, handyman ba in a sense? Maganda itong nakalagay sa basement, no? But again, with an enormous lot size, no? Pwede rin namang hindi. Kasi ito nga, nabigyan naman niya ng allotment. So, dito naman, sa side na to, nandito yung kanilang uh, four quarters, no? Maybe for your driver or maid. So, for the meantime, dahil nga nagiging showroom or for showcase purposes yung house, so nandito yung mga cleaning materials, no? And then, nilagyan nila ng and sweet na toilet and bath. Okay? So, back to the side, ito naman, of course, ito yung ating setback. We mentioned no, sa ating first video na easement or setback is of course required, no? For most, if not all, exclusive subdivisions, hindi talaga pwedeng magsagad or magtabi-tabi, no? Kasi nakakawala siya na exclusivity ng isang property. So, similar here in Trava, so may easement dito, left and right, rear and front, okay? Back to the main house. So for this model house, no, actually dun din sa isa, which we will feature later on, there's an elevator, no? So if you have maybe luggages nga naman na dadalhin sa taas, no? If you have elderly, no, na para hindi na maghagdan, you can opt to put your own elevator just like how they did it dito sa model house, okay? So dito naman sa side na to, nandito yung kanilang first comfort room or powder room no, dito sa baba, which is common for everyone. Then, on this side, yan, hindi natin ito na paso kanina. This is the first bedroom. Yan. Okay? So, first bedroom with and suite toilet and bath. Then, okay? So, kayo guys, no, call nyo yan if you want to have or secure a room so first floor, which I highly suggest, no? Kasi pwede mo naman gawin yung office. Maybe you have your parents going in or visiting you para hindi na cumbersome sa kanilang umakyat. Okay? So, this door naman is a storage space. Alright. Have I mentioned the total floor area of this first model is 433 square meters. Alright? Now, second floor na tayo. What I love about the stairs, no? Hindi siya nakakapagod. Yung pagitan between steps. Sakto lang. And these glass windows all over the house, no? 
really gives a vibrant feeling kasi pumapasok yung natural lighting. No, which is very nice to see also your neighborhood outside no who also has or a good house no good design then and then the clubhouse maybe some of the rooms no has uh, have view na clubhouse and then ayun lang, I, I me personally you know, I really appreciate natural lighting <laughs> yeah and so i think the intention no for the design of this house kaya rin siya nakaganito kasi yung first floor no pwede mo siyang ipa aircon kumpara pwede mo siyang naka centralize kasi nga naman pag ganyan kung bukas to may hirapang palamigin yung sa baba so that's a really cool literal cool idea no if you want to keep your place Cool. <laughs> All right. So, dito naman sa section na to. Yeah. And so this could be your family area, with of course a balcony. Ayan. Okay. So again, you may opt to have a balcony. Pwede rin namang wala, no? Pwede mas isinagad mo sa na yung space to occupy this. Kumaga space instead of a balcony, no? So again, the discretion is yours. But I really appreciate it na may family area dito sa taas, no? Because, syempre, in a big family, kung ako, no? Unexpecting mom, I may guest sa baba. So my kids naman won't be bothered or kumbaga, meron pa rin silang sariling space na pwede nilang galawan. Okay? So, ito yung extension or syempre, no, yung labas nandito sa second floor ng elevator, which is pinakita natin kayo na sa baba. Okay? Then, pasok naman tayo dito sa master bedroom. Wow! Diba, gano'n naman kasarap sa feeling na pagpasok mo ng master bedroom ay hindi ka maagad, no, ang makikita mo. Meron ka pang mga lounge area dito. No? So, I think the purpose, no, kung, kung ako man magkakabahay, not really to umaga, entertain guests here, but more of, no, if maybe si husband gusto pa niyang manood, gusto pa niyang magtrabaho konti, no, you could put in office tables here, maybe, no, kung medyo nagbo-vlog ba kayo, you could set up your own camera. No, while si wife, no, or your spouse could already rest naman dito sa area na to. Pasok ako dito. Ayan. <laughs> no? So, nagkaroon lang siya ng parang uh, divider, divider or wall that yung nga, separates the resting place and then wherein you could do pa some lounge or work pa doon sa kabila. So, this room also features a balcony. Okay? So, eto naman, no? Siguro, I don't know about you, pero just like me, the lady lady I mean my things no uh, were in hindi ko na alam kung saan ko pwedeng ilagay no but with a big lot size no enables you to build a house with of course a walk-in closet oh ayan diba? so lahat ng damit no abubot bags diba they have their own place no reason na magpakalat-kalat, no? Kasi nandito silang lahat. And of course, dito naman yung inyong shower area. And me time. Trono. <laughs> Puntahan natin yung ibang rooms. Yan. Before going into the other rooms, no? I love how they were able to put, no? A maybe could be no a dining table or no parang pwede rin dito yung mga lounging area pa rin sitting space uh, kung mga kids mo will bring in their friends again while you have your own sa baba meron pa rin silang space dito no so this naman itong part na to is the comfort room actually toilet and bath no common to the second floor okay so we still have two rooms here Ayan, itong isang room na to, no, hindi rin naman nagpatalo, wala siyang balcony as compared to the other rooms we saw earlier, but siya yung nakaharap or nasa facade ng ating house. So, ang ganda rin ng ginamit na material dito, no, parang modern na jealousy, tapos nilagyan lang ng ganitong net, or if you want to open it and gusto mo nang mas mahangin, 
No, pwede. Eh, hindi rin naman siya pinagkaitan, of course, ng kanyang walk-in closet. Tada! And, and sweet toilet and bath on that side. pa siya right now, no? Maybe they're doing pa the interior design. But something interesting, no? Ang hindi ko pa napapakita sa inyo. For sure, nakita nyo na kayo na itong staircase na to. Kaya kaya tayo. Look what we have here, no? So, maybe may, ang inyong asawa, no? The wife or the husband is enjoying a hobby, no? Pwede nyo itong gawing music room, or just like sa sinetap dito, parang office room or maybe additional storage. No? So, totally your choice. And surprisingly, nakasara lang. Oopsie. Yeah, and there's a small or a pocket garden dito sa labas. Para hindi naman kayo masyadong ma-overwhelm, guys, no? Other pertinent details, I would love to discuss it with you as I invite you to visit us here in Trava. Of course, I know you would want to see and check this house personally, no? And you would really appreciate the community or the project that we have here. Clubhouse is really on, is ongoing right now, no? And is really promising. So, we're excited for that. But for the meantime, I hope you enjoyed watching this house house tour as much as we enjoyed filming it doing it for you now we will feature the second model house no for our part three of our travel feature for now this is me again the millennial broker Jenny Nieto and I'll see you on our next one bye